Welcome to the installation video of Hoi Miles LB520SG2 series. This video consists of five chapters. Preparation, Product Overview, Installation Operation, Electrical Connection, and Monitoring Registration. You can refer to the user manual if you need more information. Before installation, ensure that the battery pack is turned off and any associated circuit breakers and disconnect switches are turned off. And all installations must be performed in accordance with local electrical standards and the National Electrical Code. Now, let's take a look at what you need to prepare before installation. The following tools and materials are recommended in the installation process. Personal protective equipment should be worn when operating the equipment. Then please check whether the low voltage battery accessories are complete. Before we start, let's take a look at the ports on this low voltage battery so for better understanding the installation process. The wiring port of the battery right cover, from the top to the bottom. The communication port 1 and 2. Reset button. Battery positive and negative connection port. The left is the main breaker. PE port is on the battery base place. Now, we are ready to go. The first step is to install bracket A. Fix the bracket A on the top of the control box firstly. Use M4 screws to fix bracket C on both sides of the base. Because the ground terminal is at the back of the base, you should pre-install the ground cable. Use M5 screw to secure the connection. Place the base on a level ground, parallel to the wall and keep a distance of at least 30 millimeters. Engineer can mark the hole position in advance by mark pen and drill the holes with a diameter of 6 millimeters and a depth of 90 millimeters. Insert the M6 expansion screws and tightens the screws to secure the base. Hold the handles to lift the upper module and align the connector. Slowly put down the connector end of the upper module until the connector ends of the upper module and the base are successfully connected. Then slowly put down the other end of the upper module. Stack other modules layer by layer and ensure that there is nothing between the wall and the battery. Here, don't forget to fix each battery mode. Use bracket B and M5 screws. Fix the base and the first battery above the base, then fix two battery modules well. The next step, we have to fix the battery on the wall. Mark the hole position on the wall for preparing. According to the maker, drill two holes on the wall with a diameter of 6 mm and a depth of 90 mm by a hammer drill. Place the anchor into the hole. Insert the M6 screw into the anchor and tighten it. After the wall fixing step, the control box and its below battery pack need to fix well. Now, let's come to the electrical connection. Firstly, we have to connect the battery red and black connectors to battery positive and negative port. Another side, battery positive and negative, will connect to the inverter battery terminal battery positive and negative. Then take out the communication cable, tighten the port to the proper position. Connect to the battery communication port 1 and hybrid inverter BMS port separately. Fasten all the cables by plastic strip. Turn the left switch on. Long. Press the reset button for 3 seconds. 
the battery LB520G2 will turn on. The round blue light indicates the battery is running well. LB520G2 installation complete. Now, we will show you the power flow of the energy storage system via the S Miles app. First, open the S Miles installer app and enter the account and password. Tap the plant you want to view to enter the plant overview page. You can see the current flow between the PV, grid, battery, and loads. You can also see the battery SOC below the battery icon. You can master the charging and discharging status of the battery and the load consumption based on the current flow. That's all about this video. Thanks for watching.